let's do this little guy. He is fun. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Maria with California Thrifter. I am about five minutes early because I want to make sure everything is cool. And I was watching Junk to be Loved, but um, I'm going to let her finish up. And I just came over here and turned off my phone. I don't know, other people watch on their phone. If I do that, it just messes me up. But we'll just wait. <sighs> Yay! I have four people already. Welcome, guys. Hi, Laura. I think I am, Laura. Let's see. Let's see what happens. It is hot here, though. I made the mistake of making pork chops for dinner and made the house hot. So I'm in my overalls and a tank top and ready to rock and roll. I just hope the, um, I hope the lighting is good. I've been up since 4.30 this morning, so I've been drinking coffee like crazy to keep me awake. I'm sporting some new earrings that I got from um, the thrift store the other day. Uh, $4.99. So uh, hopefully they have a lot of little sparkle on it, but I like them when there's some, sometimes I'm like in the mood for nothing. I like all, I like all kinds of earrings, but sometimes I'm just like today. It's just simple me. My hair's growing. I'm going to go get it trimmed because I have all the wispies back here. And it's like, whoa. We'll just wait a little bit. But I have I have 22 items all together, and it's a mix of everything. Some of the stuff that I that I um uh, thrifted yesterday, and uh, all that good stuff. I do have two pieces of clothing. There was my grandson. That he got a Christmas time, but you know, with COVID, they didn't go to go anywhere, and he went to go put it on to go play yesterday because it was kind of cold, a little bit cool in the afternoon. And man, that boy sprouted. So, but Laura, is not the one that you? Oh, thank you, Helen. But Laura, it's not the one that helped me the other day. This is the youngest. He has a high, like, what do you call it, a high torso. So, yep. My nails, Helen, they're like Easter-y, but I need to go get them redone. I saw a friend the other day because I'm looking at my hair. She thought I'd dyed my hair. And I'm like, no, this is how it's growing back. There's a little bit of reddish in it. And lots of gray. We'll wait another couple of minutes. Looks like I have four people. And Junk to be loved is probably almost done. I'm not sure. And once again, I didn't, I'm subscribed to her channel. But I didn't realize she was on. I didn't get notified. So I don't know what's going on. Oh, thank you, Helen. You know, you guys, um, 
on the weekend. I kind of rush a little bit today. It's kind of like I only have 22 items. And um, we're just going to take it easy. I have a mix of a bunch of stuff. Looks like she did. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah, because I was, I turned on my phone and there she was. No. It just showed that there was a bunch of live people and I went to go look and it was her. One of them was her. But I've never been to one of her lives. So. I think it was called Drunk to be Loved. Maybe I'm wrong. Hi, Maria. See, Helen, I didn't know either. It's um, something is going on with YouTube because um, I was saying the other day, I'm, um, I'm subscribed to um, Jay Newhouse. And um, except for today, I checked this morning and I, it was okay. But usually I have to go back and subscribe to her channel. Or sometimes I've noticed some other people um, that... Um, I'm subscribing, and then all of a sudden it's disappeared. But since you guys are here, I've been looking. I have a, because you guys know I have my 500 plus subscriber, subscriber drawing. And there's one that her name is Melody something something. She was subscribed to my channel, and now I can't find her. Melody is something mis miscellaneous, and then the other one is uh, sugar, tea, and iced tea or something like that. Those two, I cannot locate them. I don't know if they decided not to be subscribed anymore. Hi, Angela. Hi, Linda. Hi, Belinda. I hope everybody is doing good. How's the weather everywhere? Here it's hot. At least in my house, because I made pork chops tonight for dinner. It's just me and the boys and with sides and Melody's many miscellaneous miscellaneous. Yes. Yes. If somebody can if you she's subscribed to you, if you could let her know to um send me an email to my email on the screen. And uh because she wants something. And then the other one is um, and something, something, a nice tea. Hi, Terry. Hi, Judy. Thank you, Angela. Yeah, Angela, the other lady, um, she came from, um, oh, my God, I forget her name now. Thrift Queen or something like that. That's where she came from. Hi, Tina Hendricks. I got 13 people. I'm going to go ahead and start. Um I don't think I have anybody new here, but I do want to give a shout out to Mr. Chapter 2 Vintage, Aaron. He is my newest, very newest subscriber. He reached out to me today because he saw my video that I did with the uh, unboxing of the two boxes of um, um, 
from Jay Newhouse. And so, Aaron, if you're in the house, welcome. I am so blessed to have new, new subscribers. One step closer to my goal. And uh, my email is on the screen. If you're the first person to bid, um, just, hi, Maria. Hi, Patricia. Um, and I just want to clarify, because this last week I had some major, major issues with PayPal and some of the people trying to pay me. I only accept payments through PayPal. I send you the invoice. That's why we need to have your all your information, your full name, mailing address, PayPal email. If you have a different email, you send all that to my email on the screen. And then what I'll do is I will pack it up really good, weigh it, and whatever you live, it will tell me how much, and I'll put in, you know, for shipping and all that good stuff. And then you'll receive a invoice through PayPal. Once you you get that, you get two notifications. You get one through your email, and then you'll have one. Um, thank you, Angela. And um, once you get that, go down below. Go down to the bottom of the towards the bottom of the invoice. And it'll say view and pay. Once you click on there, it'll say pay now. You click on that, and it should allow you to pay your invoice. If there's a problem, hi, Melody. Send me your information because you're one of my winners. You won the, uh, the paperweight. So I need to send it to you. So thank you, Melody. I couldn't, I don't know, somehow I was calling you. Melody's Mary something. I don't know. I'm so I was so tired the other day. But just send me information to the email on the screen. Um anyway, like I said, you just go towards the bottom of the invoice and it'll say preview and pay or a view and pay, and then you just pay now and you pay it. And then um once I have all that, it'll alert me uh through PayPal and through my email that that person has paid. And then um, I, I'm i five minutes away from the post office. So if you guys, Monday through Saturday, if you guys pay before 9 o'clock, which is my time, or um, 12 o'clock Eastern, because I'm Pacific, I'll, I'll take it the same day. I don't like to hold on to boxes and hold on to monies and all that good stuff. Once you paid in full, I've usually I like to go first thing in the morning because I take my grandson to school, and then from there I just go take the packages. But the good thing is, guys, is I I don't know if you guys were at Jane's live sale yesterday. Let's pray for Jane and try to help her if we can. She is having major major issues with her post office lady and trust me that's no fun but um and i don't know if other states is different here in california i was told you're not supposed to alter a um a delivery or labeled printed label from usps and this woman had her do it and i have the proof and uh I already reached out to Jane. I don't know if she already got my message, but yeah, once they, when they, they're trying to tell you to do that, to change, uh-uh, because anybody can do it. You know, if say I'm sending something to Angela and somebody goes in and, and uh, puts in a different address. Well, guess what happens? Maybe they're going to go to this other address. So please, please be careful because not everybody is honest. Even the USPS people, okay? So please, please be careful. I love you all, and I don't want anybody to go through anything. All right, guys. Let's start. I am going to start. 
I've had this for a while. I was going to keep it, but the other, uh, yesterday I decided not to because um, this is a, yeah, it's almost like a, it's a, it's a ship and it's like a, it's like, it's, it's like cast iron. It's very heavy. It's really good for, to be a door stopper, you know, and it's got, um, that Robin's egg green right here. And then this is like a silver comes to a point. It's really, really beautiful. And you can tell this was hand done, you know, and this measures, um, about, From the bottom to the very tip, it's about nine and a quarter inches. And then the base is uh, about five and a half inches. And then I'm going to start this as an offer up at $10. $10 offer up. And it's a door stopper. And it's beautiful. I think this originally was this color. And then they kind of shaved it to look like this and it's really really beautiful but it's heavy so if somebody buys this um it's almost worth putting it into a flat rate box because of the weight and if there's no takers or you know, if you, somebody wants you to just type in pass, we'll go to the next thing. I'm so happy, Natty. And that was a lot. So next up, I have this um, this really cute plate. It's a bowl. And it's not marked or anything like that. I just thought it was beautiful. And this measures this measures this bowl measures um, eight inches across and then the base is um, four and a half inches and it's just beautiful very very beautiful Put Easter eggs in here, candy, very, very pretty, many uses. And I'm going to start this at $7 offer up, $7. Or just type in $7. If nobody, if only one person wanted, we'll do $7. <laughs> okay, I've got Laura for seven dollars. If no other takers, okay, we'll fit because the other day I was la lagging. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. Um, Going once, going twice, sold to Laura, business Laura, for $7. Thank you, Laura. 
And Laura, that is number eight. That is number And then I have this, um, you're welcome. Then I have this uh, Made in Japan platter. It's very, very pretty. There's no chips or cracks. And this measures. This measures 12 inches wide or long by eight and a half wide, more or less. But I just love, love the graphics on it. It does have the, uh, the Japan mark on there. I don't know if you can can see it. Let me see if I can get closer. There we go. And this is going to start at uh, $10. That's an offer up. $10 for this beautiful Japan platter. I just love, love, love. Yes, thank you, Judy, and everybody. If you guys want to, if you haven't done so, give me a thumbs up. Traveler, the sailboat is still available. It looks like it's cast iron because it's very heavy, very, very heavy. I don't know who who made it, but this is the bottom of it. It's got like a, a nail on there or something to hold it in place. It doesn't unscrew or anything like that. It's one solid piece. I mean, it's not one solid piece. It's like it was welded on there. But this is the bottom. Just very, very pretty. That's what it looks like right there. And, and then it's got the, right here, this is like goldish. And this too, it's very, very pretty. And this looks like it was hand done. Uh, this was $10. $10 for the sailboat. Traveler, if you're interested, um, it's ten dollars and it's number twenty-two. Twenty-two for the, the sailboat. Okay, I'll give you 15. It was only 10. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. I had started as an offer up. Thank you. I'm sending you the email for 22. I don't understand what that. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So $15 on number 22. Thank you, Traveler.
So going back to this, this platter was ten dollars. We started ten dollars, and I don't know. I don't have any any takers. If not, we'll pass it and go to the next item. Thank you, Traveler. Then I have these. Um, these are owl bookends. Give me a second here. Um, um, Yeah, make sure you send me your information. I don't, I don't, you know, if you don't send me information, I don't start, um, I don't start packing anything until I have all the information. So, you know, if somebody wants to play games, I don't play games. Anyway, let's go back to this. This is a, um, a, a set of bookends. You know, yesterday at my, uh, pres uh, my, um, uh, what do you call it? My preview, I, I told you guys, um, right here, it's missing, it's broke. But the other one is in perfect condition. I looked it up. It has the, um, it is made in Japan. And it has O-M-G, and it says Japan. It's kind of, um, yeah, and they're, um, I'm going to start them at, uh, um, $10 for the set, $10 for the set. But this one, remember, I mean, everything looks perfect except the little, his little thing right here. It's wood. It is wood. Yes, it is wood. Excellent condition. Yep, they're wood. Yes, I'm sorry. They're wood. Yep, there would. Traveler, if you send the email to uh, to the email on the screen, I will get it. Even if it goes to uh, my junk mail, I always, before I delete anything, I will go look. Thank you. So if I have any takers on it, if not, we'll pass. All right, thank you. We'll come back to that. Then I have this really cute hand-painted metal planter. This at one point was selling for $35, oops. But I'm only going to start at 10.
Yeah, see, they were asking $35, but I'm going to start at $10, $10. And it's really whoever painted this did an excellent job. It is so, so beautiful. Look at all those colors. Very, very pretty. Very pretty. So starting at $10. The handle's pr pretty as well. And they it bends. So it'll be easier for me to ship. I wish I had that kind of talent. Strawberries on there. All kinds of beautiful stuff. Guys, I'm very happy with my lighting today. What I love about whoever did this is like right here. It's a two-piece. But they um, they painted it. You can't even tell and look unless you look really close. If I don't have any takers, we can just pass on it and go to the next item. No rush. No, no rush. Thank you, Belinda. Hmm. Melody, what did the, the traveler want what? The sailboat? He already said he wanted it. Unless I missed something. I can check my young. Um, let's take a break. Let's so uh, let me turn on my phone and I'll check and see if um if traveler send me his information, his or her information. I hope Jane is okay. You guys can talk to much yourselves. I don't have a problem. Oh, thank you. Well, no, I think she's sick, but usually she, you know, she, 
I reached out to her today and I haven't heard from her. And usually I, I'm sure she's just busy. Yep, I got it. I got it, Traveler. Thank you. Make sure you guys uh, subscribe to my channel. And I will turn it around and do the same. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, so no takers on the... Uh, okay. Next up, hmm. Thank you. So this is the next offer up. This is a little girl. She's very small, but very cute. She only measures about four inches tall. Her The bottom is about three and a half. And she's got her little lavender dress on. If Traveler is a person that I think it is, um, we're okay. And if not, we'll we'll figure something out. So look at her. She's got like, I am so cute. She's got a little basket of flowers. Her little hat. Very, very adorable. She's so tiny. Look at her. And uh, this is started, uh, this is an offer up, and I started her at $6. $6 for this cute beauty. Okay, $6.
I have Maria at six, Christina at seven. Okay. Traveler, so the uh, email you sent me is all one word. Maria's at eight. Just uh, do me a favor. Just um, one more time. Just send me just which email you want me to use. Because there's two of them here. Thank you, and I'm sorry to be a pain. Okay, Christina is out. So I have Maria for eight. Do I have somebody for nine? I have Maria Casillas for eight. If there's no more takers, I will do a countdown. Okay, okay. So, the pretty girl is going to go once twice sold let me see we can go back here a little bit So sold to Maria Casillas for $8. Thank you, Maria. You guys, don't worry. I know who he is. I figured it out. I'm glad he came on here because I've was i been trying to get a hold of him. So thank you. Okay. Okay, next I have, I just picked this up yesterday. I picked it up because of the frame, because I really like the frame. Um, but this is made, this is done by Frederick Colvis, and he was born in the San Francisco area, and then later he settled in San 
the cruise. But look how pretty that is. This is a little frame. It is a six and a half by five and a half inches tall. It's a picture of a farmhouse. But I just love, love, love. It's just so cute. And I did some research on him. He passed away in, um, I think, 1985. I get so forgetful. So, this Frederick Colvus painting is going to go as fall for up, and it's going to start $10. $10 on this little frame. Any takers? It's really, really pretty. Now, I explained to you guys yesterday, this is from a studio. And it looks like that right here, there was a label or something, and they peeled it, and then right here is a little, what do you see it? Oh, right there. See, there's a little rip. Because when I got this, it was a uh, it was a nothing on it, and then she just, which they never do, a price. But right here, you can barely see. But this came from a gallery in San Francisco. I mean, not San Francisco, Santa Cruz. And it's very like, maybe somebody had it's very faded. So I have vintage by Darius at eleven dollars. Okay. Very cute. I, I looked up some of his stuff, his paintings. They are like awesome, awesome. I was going to ask for more, but then when I noticed the thing in the back, the little rip, I'm like, oh, I'm just going to give it to a good home. Because I, I didn't realize this who this was. I just went, I was going to take all this stuff out and just use the frame. So I have Vintage by Darius at 11. If there's any other takers, do I have somebody for 12? Mary R, you can you can still send you can still send your, your information. I'm not sure. I have vintage by Darius for eleven dollars. Do I hear twelve? Okay. I have vintage by Darius at fifteen. Vintage by by Darius at fifteen. If you're out, okay, Mary, Mary's out. So I have the highest bidder is Vintage by Darius, and this is gonna go go once, twice. Sold to Vintage by Darius for $15. Thank you.
I'm so happy that's going to go to a good home. Thank you. Okay. The next step I have this really cute upside down bunny. He's holding an egg and uh, he's, he sits like this upside down. He's got his little cotton tail tail up here and he's holding an egg. He's just adorable. And I know Easter is already here, but you know, it's just one of those things. Whoops, there's still tape on there. But I just think he's adorable. And I'm just going to start offering him up at um, $5. <clears throat> That's what his face looks like. He's like, oh, oh. Thank you. Don't, Melody, don't forget to send me your information. I don't know if you did already or not. And I will put that in the mail this week. Okay. So the little upside down bunny starting at $5. And he is made in China. So it's not something particularly vintage. Okay, if no takers, I'll pass it on. I'll pass it on. We'll go to the next item. I have this beautiful, beautiful um, Avon Bell. I didn't realize when I picked it up that it was, a, you know, it was an Avon item. I do collect Avon, but um, I think this one is so pretty. I'm just going to let it go. And this is going to start at uh, $10. That's an offer up. It's very pretty. It still has that smell. It's beautiful. Oh, I don't know what was in here because the label is gone. But it's got that blue. It's really pretty. I love the stuff that they do with, uh, with Avon. It's so, so pretty. This is glass, and this is like plastic or something. It's very light. So, but offer up. We're going to start this at $10. Okay, if I don't have any takers on the uh, Avon Bell, we'll move on. Um, then I have this cute little... It's supposed to be filled with potpourri, but the potpourri, actually, whoever had this before me, when I got it, you know, if they donated whatever, they not only held potpourri in there already, but they tacked some more. So the combination of the two smells or fragrances was just very potent. 
And then um, one of the bags had broken and it was just, ugh. so I just took everything out and I, it was nice and clean. Is this iridescent? Give me a second. I will. So I have this iridescent, like, almost like um, Robin's nest egg. It's very pretty. You can put anything in here or just do it like that. And uh, this has an offer up of $5. There's no chips or cracks. I have Christina Aguilera for $5 on the Dolphin. And just to read, Blandine, here's the, the thing you were, you were asking for. I have Christina for $5. $5. If no other offers, I'll do a countdown. Do I have six dollars for the dolphin? Very pretty. It has a hole on the bottom for you to put your potpourri in and stuff. So, I have $5 from Christina Aguilar, Resale Gal. So, going once, going twice, sold to Christina Aguilar for $5. Thank you, Christina. And that was number 11. Sorry, I already had put in, I'm lagging. See, that's the problem. Um, I already had said sold to Christina when Vintage by Darius popped up. So Christina's getting it for $5. Sorry about that. Christina, do you not want it? If you don't want it, I'll sell it to Vintage by Darius. I guess I'm lagging. Tell me yes or no. You guys figure it out. I'll let you guys make the decision, Christina. Okay, Vintage, but there is, she said you can have it if you want it. Just say yes or no. Uh-oh. I'll, I'll, I'll slow down a little bit. Because that, that's how I was like in the other day. Yes, okay. So, Vintage by Darius for $7. Thank you. Okay, going back to the, to this, um, this was uh, an offer up, and it was 
if somebody went, was interested in it, $10 is an offer up. It's hand painted. If somebody is interested, just put in $10. If not, we'll just move on. And I'll wait because I am, I guess I am lagging. There's no big brush. So I have just three for $10. Do I have 11? And this is very easy to pack because the handle just folds down. Okay, if I don't have any other offers, I will take it for ten dollars, and I'll go slow this time. So I'm gonna go once, going twice. going three times to salt to blending thank you London, I know you bought for me before, but it's been a while. I probably, after the New Year's, all my all my contacts, everything disappeared. So if you can shoot me an email to all your information on the email on the screen, I would appreciate it. And thank you. Thank you so, so much. Um, I know I had somebody here that was waiting for this, so... This is a little white creamer made in China. It's got a little birdie on it. And I'm gonna start this as an offer up at $6. And this is what the bottom looks like. It says, um, Dishwasher safe, microwave safe, and it's made in China. I just love the birdie on there. I thought it was so, so adorable. And I love the handle. He's sitting on the handle on the edge of the creamer. And so, so cute. And so I'm going to start him at $6. $6. I have 10 nickels for $6.
Terry for six dollars. Do I have seven? Laura for seven. Do I have eight? And if you're out, if you don't want to bid anymore, just say you're out. So we don't, we just go on to the next item. Oh, awesome. Terry Nichols for age. Laura is out. Oh. If I don't have any other bidders, I'll start the count down. I have Terry for age. Going once. Going twice. Sold to Terry for eight dollars. Thank you, Terry. And this is number twelve. Number twelve. Thank you, Terry. Then I have this, um, um, <clears throat> the Pampers Chef item. Yeah, please send the info. Hello, Attic Avenue. Send the info. Okay, thank you. So this is brand new in the box. It's never been used. It's the Bread Tube Heart. And it's product number 1560. It's made in Taiwan. Here's the box. It's still in the plastic. It's never even been taken out of the plastic. The plastic's not even open. Okay, it still has the instructions. And this is the heart because they come in three, three different ones. But this is the heart. They have the star and the uh, this other flower. But this is the, the heart. And it's just, uh, I'm going to start an offer up um, at $5. $5 for the Pampered Chef. Um, bread tube, the heart. Five dollars. And if nobody wants it, I'll I'll move I'll, I'll move along. I just want to be sure I'm not lagging. Yes, yes.
and uh, it even comes with some it even comes with recipes can barely sometimes my lighting is better than another times but yeah there's still some recipes my friend has had one she had one of these and she lived with me i mean she didn't live with me she lived next door to me and she used to make um um what do you call it zucchini she used to make zucchini bread in it i don't know i've never used it before but yeah so this is five dollars starting offer up i just like it to display it with all my other stuff You can take the ends off and put it um, for Valentine's Day on display. You know, there's so many uses you can do. You can, the box is really cute. I love the the lettering on it, the graphic. If I don't have any takers, I'll go ahead and you guys can type in pass and we'll go to the next item. No rush. While well, you guys think about it a little bit, let me drink some coffee. All right, guys. That's a pass. Got it. Let me get up because I have two items that, oh my gosh. So these are for my grandkids, my, my youngest grandson. He got these for Christmas. They're vests. And I was going to wait until until winter time to um, sell them. But I know some places it's still cold and they're in brand new condition. They're both um, very thick. This one here is navy blue on once on the outside, and they're reversible. Um, my grandson is going back to school, so he wouldn't realize how much he had grown since Christmas. So this is a um, this is a Cherokee. 100% polyester uh, lining. It's 100 po polyester lining and 100% polyester sh uh, shell. And then 100% polyester fiber fill. This is an authentic brand. Outerwear by, by Cherokee. And this is a size. They're the same size, but they're from two different places. So it's weird. Um, so this is a medium 810. A medium 8. I don't know if you can see it. Medium 810. And this, I'm just starting at five dollars. Five dollars are brand new. They're re it's reversible. Um, my grandson got this uh, at Christmas time, and I think he even wore it. It's just that he's tall like his dad, very tall, um, high torso, and so this was all he calls it. It doesn't even, he couldn't even zip it up. And then on top of that, it's like, uh, he called it, um, oh, what do you call it? He called it something when he went those rides and you go, woo! And he's just, um, 
roller coaster. You call it a roller coaster. So that's one of them. And I'll show the other one because they're both going to start at $5. That one's navy blue on one side. And it has a checkered gray blue on the other. And this one is the same thing, but it's orange on one side. And then they're both reversible. And then on the other side, it's that um, camouflage. Um, and they're both going to start an offer up. And they're both going to be $5 each. See, look, it still has a string from the price because I haven't even used it. And this one is also a medium. But this one says, this is made by Sears, simply styled. And this is a, a medium 1012. It's a medium 1012 made by Sears. So if you guys want to kind of think about it, this really, I mean, it's brand new. But I might be lagging. So we'll wait a little bit. I'll drink some coffee. I have 21 people. Yay! Wow, I must really be lagging. If nobody's interested in the boys' vests, I'll pass it. Just type in pass. All righty. Okay. We can also come back. And then next I have this, um, it's a tablecloth. Now I got this from, from another, um, seller but I um this is hand done this is beautiful but it it doesn't work for this is for my table one I mean it's the wrong size so um what did I do with it <laughs> Okay, tablecloth, this is hand done. I haven't washed anything. This is, I, I got it last year. And um, it does have some, some issues, but that's how I got it. And I was okay with it, you know. But, um, and this is all hand stitched. It does have issues right here. And I was going to, I thought it fit in front of my table. I was gonna use it like a comforter, but it's it doesn't it doesn't work for what I want. So I thought I'm just gonna turn it around and sell it. This is all embroidered. This is like that cheesecloth, and it's beautiful. And this measures uh, approximately fifty six by forty two. If the 42 was also 56, it would have worked. But it's okay. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love it. 
but I thought I would just find a good a good home for it. So these um, squares, each square is embroidered in a different color. And then in the middle has this beautiful, beautiful lace. And this was all stitched by hand or machine. But this is not store-bought, I don't think. But look how pretty that is. All these colors. The yellows, the pinks, the blues. It's all very, very pretty. If you're a crafter, you can take the... Because the, the problem is the lace. The lace has some a lot of rips on it. But um, I'm starting this at $10 for the tablecloth. $10, 56 by 42. The, the squares are very, very excellent condition. The only issue was the lace. And now... I don't I don't think this was hand done. This lace was hand done, but it's very, very pretty. It does have a few. Uh, like I said, I haven't washed it. It does have a few stains, but I'll leave that up to the buyer if somebody is interested. Or if just one person is interested, just type in ten dollars. Just type in ten dollars for the tablecloth. Yes, very nice spring colors. And if nobody is interested, just type in pass. If it doesn't sell, what I might just do is take all the squares out and make pillows with it for my patio. And that's the only other option I have because it won't work for my table. Because the squares are in excellent condition. The only thing that's wrong was the, uh, the lace. Okay, we're passing. All right, Natty says pass. And I couldn't go, always go back. And, um, uh, Try again. If I have time to go back, it's just going to say, I'm just going to say, it's this much and so forth. God, give me a second here. And then I have this, um, I picked up this little tin and it says, um, treasured traditions. Look at her. She's so pretty. And this really cute shaped, um, tin. Um, the length is, um, about seven and a half. And the width is, uh. Almost five, four and three quarters. Excellent condition. That's the inside of it. And I'm going to start this at $5. Offer up $5. Very, very pretty. $5 for the treasured traditions. My favorite is the little girl. She's got a little birdie that she's feeding on her shoulder. So five dollars. And if nobody wants it, we'll just pass it on. Pass. I have Angela for five. Do I have six?
Angela, please resend me your information because last time when you sent me the thing for your card that I sent for your birthday, I had a hard time. I lose things so easy. So if you don't mind. So this is so, so pretty. We'll go all the way around. I have Angela for five. If nobody else wants to bid on it, um, I'll do the countdown. So Angela, five going once. Angela Moxberry going twice. I'm going to wait a little bit because I was lagging earlier. I don't know. Give everybody opportunity. So, sold to Angela Marksberry for $5. Thank you, Angela. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Angela, I don't know if I still have, because she hasn't bought from me in a while. I don't know if I still have her information. But if you do, can you send it to me, please? I appreciate it. A while back, I had one of these, but it was a square. It didn't sell because one of the, I accidentally think I broke one of the corners. But this is a rectangular. And um, I don't have the other one on me here, but if somebody buys this one and you guys want the other one, the other one just square, I'll include it. So this is a rectangular little. Um, I love the handles on it. This is eight inches by about four inches. And it's just a cute little, cute little dish. You can put eggs in it. Originally, I had picked it up to put my angels, but the base of my angels, all my kissing angels, are a little bit wider. And I'm like, uh, I've already been breaking too much stuff. So this is going to be an offer up starting at $5, $5, it's really pretty. It's got this ribbed bottom glass. Yep. And it's got these really pretty handles. No chips or cracks. And this is uh, starting at $5. It's an offer up. Five dollars. I have netted for five dollars. I have netted for five dollars. Do I hear six? So, Nettie, or whoever wins, if you guys want the other one, let me know when you send me your information. I will include it. You would just pay for the, pay for the shipping. Otherwise, I'll just send this one. 
So if I don't have any takers, I have Nettie for five dollars. So Nettie going once. I'll slow it down a little bit. Nettie going twice. Sold to Nettie. Thank you, Nettie. And Nettie, that was number 10. That was number 10. And then I have this, um, it looks like milk glass. It looks like milk glass, but I don't think it is. There's no marks on or anything. I just love them. They, they look like they're um, sunflowers or daisies. And it's white and it's not showing properly. Give me a second, guys. Let's see if this works better. Okay. It's got the ribbed edge. And it's got the, uh, the flowers on the bottom. They look like they're daisies. But I'm so sorry. on here but i had this uh last week at one of my sales and um i was selling earlier i had last time i had it for ten dollars but i'm just gonna go half i'm gonna go five dollars starting an offer of five dollars for the milk glass type oval tray so instead of ten dollars i'm gonna do five dollars because that's that's the lowest i can go I'm going low, guys, because I already broke one the other day. I don't want to break this one. So I'd rather just, um, thank you, Angela. I'd rather just give it to a, another home. So the milk glass oval tray, oval plate. $5 for the... Uh, and this is very pretty. I wish you guys could see it, in, you know, in person. I don't know if you can see it like that. Hey, it matches my my nails, <laughs> my the cover of my book. I'm doing it sideways so you guys can see because this is white on white. But the the flowers are all like the it's not flat. It's um. Uh, let me do it sideways so you can see. There you go. There you go. See? I knew it would show. It would focus. Look at that pretty flower. So I have Betty for $5. Any other offer ups? Any other offers?
If I don't have anybody else want to offer, it's going to go. I'm going to do a countdown to Netty at $5. Going once. Going twice. Sold to Nettie for $5. And Nettie, this is number 20. $5, number 20. Alrighty, I have four more items, and then I, I I meant to go back, but guys, I'm so sorry, but I'm really getting tired. I've been up since 4.30 this morning, but whatever then sell today, I'll have it on my live on Saturday. So I have this really cute little decanter. It's um, It has a little spout on it. I love the handle. Love, love the handle. And this is about um, it's about six and a half, half tall. And the bottom is about two and a half. It says um, it has some initials on it. I don't know what, what this means. No. Um, I don't know if this is anchor hawking or no, it's not anchor hawking. I think this is um, it has a V, an E, and an A, and then um, almost looks looks like a little castle ribbon, and then twenty five. So I have no idea what this means. It doesn't glow. It does not glow. And if it does, I have no idea because I don't have one of those lamps. Um, but this is a uh, offer up. It's five dollars. Five dollars. Okay. I need to invest in one of those uh, black lights. If I don't have any takers, we'll pass. If somebody type in pass. Pass. Okay. Then I have this little cute miniature creamer. Um, this is one of those, I don't know what you guys call it, but um, where they, that it has the line where they put the glass together. And this is again, an offer up starting $5. He is very small. Um, Sorry, guys, that was my grandson's bunny. Um, this is about three inches tall and um, almost three inches wide. Very adorable. Yes, mold line. I think so, too. Look how pretty that is. Now, Nettie, is that the mold line? Is that okay? 
Is that something that's usual? Or is that like, so you think this is from like 1960s? Because I couldn't find anything on it. I have business law, Laura at five. Because I don't know when they stopped um, doing the mold, the mold line. I, I don't even know if they stopped doing it or not. I just love, love the little thumb, almost like little thumbprint on it. Oh, okay. So if nobody else wants to bid on it, I have Laura at $5 going once. going twice that is so pretty look at that Woo! sold to laura for five dollars thank you laura and laura that was number 13. 13. So Laura, let me let me ask you really quick. How big of a collection do you have? Because I'm down to like 10, 10 pieces. I used to have a lot. And this is another creamer. This is made in Portugal. It's porcelain. I love the design of it. Love, love, love. And I do collect Portuguese pottery and stuff like that. Because that's my native native country. And this is from Cello's Home. It's It hasn't been very old because um, it has a UPC thing on the bottom. But I'm doing this at starting at $5 as well. It's $5 and it has, that's the, the side of it. And it, the design, it's very cute. It's different, very different. So I have Netty, $5. Me too. Me too, Laura. I love creamers. I'm just running out of space. I'm keeping some. Um, one of these days, I've got to show you guys. Yep. Yep. One of my favorites is the one I got from um, Tim from over the years. Um, it's a milk glass and it's beautiful. I just wish I could find the sugar to go with it, but I haven't. So if nobody wants it, bet on it. I have Nettie at, at $5 going once, going twice. Sold to Nettie for $5. And Nettie, that is number 17. Number 17, Nettie. Now, you guys, I have a question because I'm almost done. Do you guys want me to, do you guys want to wait until Saturday and see if you want something else? Or you want me to ship it out? It doesn't matter to me. I can put all this in a box and, and wait. Um, some people want to wait, but if you think you're not going to make it on Saturday, I can pack it tomorrow and, and send you guys the invoice. So Nettie, you want to go ahead and send it out or you want to wait until Saturday? Okay, sounds good. I will. You know what I can do usually because the other day there was a confusion. What I might just do is send you the invoice. Everybody, I'll invoice the, the items. Um, 
Laura, thank you. I will do that. Yes. Yes. So here's the last of my creamers. And this is just, um, this is a Sango China made in Japan, Sheffield. And this is the white with the silver lining on it. I love, love, love. Can't even see that, but you can see right here on the handle, the lining. My mom and dad, they used to have a set of this, um, this, um, but theirs has a little rose on it. Okay. So Maria, wait till Saturday. Laura, wait. And um, Nettie, ship out. Okay. Yeah, I'll tomorrow... Um, well, my grandkids are in school. I'll have the time to pack everything and I'll send you guys the invoices. Yeah, Marie, I have you. I have you waiting. Okay. So this is $5. Do I don't have any takers? It's the last of my creamers. The last of the item of the day. I wanted to go back. But honestly, guys, I'm very, very tired. But whatever then sell today, I'll have it on Saturday sale. I'll just carry it on because I apologize. But I've been up since 4.30 this morning. And if it wasn't for the 100th cup of coffee that I drink today, I wouldn't have made it. But I want to thank everybody in advance for coming by. So this is $5. And if no takers, just somebody type in pass. And before you guys go, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Let me know if it's something I can do different. Um, thank you. Thank you, Laura. Um, I hope everything went well. I'm very honored to have some people come over and you know who you are because I've been trying to get a hold of these people, this person. Um, but um, hugs from California. I love you all. Thank you for coming by. And um, I hope I didn't disappoint any of you. Uh, my, my Saturday sales are always at uh, 10 o'clock Pacific 10, 11, 12, 1, 1 o'clock Eastern time, every Saturday, every Saturday. So good night, guys. I will see everybody on Saturday. Thank you.